good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're back here with another preview and predictions man i'm looking forward to the elimination chamber uh this saturday um it's crazy to say that i'm excited for elimination chamber pay-per-view usually these pay-per-views are kind of the, the past few years they've been kind of misses in my opinion haven't been like bad per se but you know just certain booking decisions kind of really didn't i guess you can say live up to the hype of elimination chamber of past years but i feel like this one is going to be a really really good one because of some major storylines that are taking place at this pay-per-view so i'm looking forward to it i know you guys are as well make sure you check out our live stream reaction on the main uh, page on the inner clutch page you know we're gonna be there uh trying to see how things play out and also your boy is going to try to gain the inner clutch championship so hopefully i'm able to do that so i can walk out with two belts over my shoulder man but let's get right into my preview and predictions on what's gonna happen and how the matches are gonna play out so we're gonna start with edge and beth Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Oh, I am looking forward to this match. I think this match is going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see it. I'm ready to see Rhea catch the beats. Um, honestly, I think this is probably be the best way to potentially just end this feud. I would have Edge and Beth Phoenix overcome Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. I think this match is going to be fun. I cannot wait for it. They've been building up for it for quite some time. I'm okay with Edge and Beth getting the uh, the win here. And I honestly think they're going to try to keep Rhea Ripley strong. I think Finn Balor will probably eat the pin here. And we'll see what other feud Edge is going to uh, potentially get into right before WrestleMania. But I am all for Edge and Beth Phoenix getting the win here. Um, so next match, um, we're going to talk about the Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley match. Now this match, I wasn't expecting to happen at Elimination Chamber. I was expecting this to happen at, um, this year's WrestleMania. Honestly, this can go either way. This can go either way. I've really been thinking about this. I personally think they're, they're trying to do something with him in the Hurt Business. They've kind of aligned him as pretty much the heel in this situation. I think you have the Hurt Business or the members of the Hurt Business get involved in this match, and that's how Bobby will win. And he'll kind of turn, I guess you could say, a heel again. Um, I'm thinking that's the route. I don't think they're going to have Bobby Lashley beat Brock Lesnar clean. I think since they've been planting the season, you've been seeing it in the background in a lot of these segments, and MVP is trying to, you know, get him to, you know, kind of come to his side again. I think the Hurt Business will get involved. The members of the Hurt Business will get involved and ultimately cause uh, Brock Lesnar to lose. And I think Bobby Lashley will win due to the Hurt Business involvement. So that's where I'm going with and Maybe they can build that, that faction up once again as well. So that's where I'm going with on that one honestly i think they should end the feud at this point um doesn't need to go further i i don't i don't see brock winning only because it i don't get the benefit of him winning i don't know what that does honestly because he's not going to be around and maybe until wrestlemania so i think it makes more sense for someone that's going to be there like bobby lashley to get that win with the help of of some former friends and to get that heel heat going because people are going to boo for that i know uh me and dub is going to be also happy for that one so i think they're going with bobby lashley to get the win there um the first elimination chamber match or it may not be the first one but one of the elimination chamber matches uh for the united states championship austin theory versus seth Rollins versus johnny gargano versus bronson reed versus damian priest versus montez ford there are at least two people in there i can see actually winning and one of them is not seth rollins i think what they're gonna have for seth may be seth versus logan paul at this year's wrestlemania so seth i don't see winning doesn't make sense for him to win the united states championship back the only other two people i can see is damian priest montez ford i don't think they're gonna give it to damian priest because obviously a heel has it right now so i don't think 
they're going to give it to him, but he may be one of the last few people in the match. I think the underdog hero is not going to be Johnny Gargano. I think the underdog hero that a lot of people are going to want to win is Montez Ford. I think a lot of people are going to want Montez Ford to win. It's, um, it's kind of giving me the Kofi Kingston situation where, you know, a lot of people are going to be rooting for him to win. And I think it's going to be Montez Ford and, and Austin Theory as the last two people in the match. But I ultimately have Austin Theory retaining. Uh, I think you don't cut his run short. If anything, he could possibly lose it at WrestleMania. But I think... Uh, what he's doing so far with the United States Championship isn't bad. I like where his character has grown from what it was with the money in a bank briefcase to where it is now. And you can build up a feud. I am all cool with Austin Theory versus Montez Ford for the United States Championship at WrestleMania. Sign me up. I'm all for it. So I think Montez Ford, Austin Theory are going to be the last people. But I do believe Austin Theory will retain the United States Championship. All right. Going to the women's elimination chamber uh, match for the Raw Women's Championship. You got Asuka, Liv Morgan, Raquel, Nikki Cross, Natalia, Carmella. I don't see Liv walking out uh, as the number one contender. I, I do not uh, see that happening. Um, I can see Natalia maybe lasting a little bit longer because they're going to be in, their home, uh, in her hometown. Honestly, honestly. I can see maybe Raquel and maybe Oscar being the last two, but I'm going with Oscar for this one. I'm going with Oscar. I don't think it's Raquel's time. She will have her moment. I'm going with Oscar. People are loving her, her, her revitalization of her character. Basically, uh, from what y'all been telling me, she's going back to her Kana gimmick before she came uh, to WWE, and I love it. I love it. It, 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 it. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. The fact that she turned on her partners on Monday Night Raw and start beating up everybody. Oscar, Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. And it makes sense. It, it kind of does make sense. Because Alexa Bliss and Oscar for at one point were, you know, kind of, you know, had Bianca Belair's back. Now that Alexa Bliss has already fought Bianca for the title, it only makes sense for Oscar with this gimmick change somewhat to be the one to face her at WrestleMania. And I think it's going to be a good match. And Asuka ain't no joke. So I'm all for Asuka winning the women's elimination chamber number one contender match. And we can get that feud lined up for WrestleMania. And the match that we all want to see. The match that's going to have everybody tuned in. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Roman versus Sami Zayn. Roman Reigns, title reign, is over 900 days long. That is incredible. We will never see a title reign like this probably for a very long time. Honestly, I, I know a lot of you guys want it. And I, I wouldn't have a problem with it too, but it got to make sense. Sami Zayn's not winning this match. Sami Zayn is losing for sure. It is it's a foregone conclusion. They're not changing up WrestleMania. No matter how much fans want it, no matter how much I wanted it at one point, it's not happening. It only makes sense right now for Cody to be the guy and maybe Sammy be the one to, you know, be in the support of, of Cody to get the job done. And also, I think the bigger story tonight, it's not going to be Roman. It's going to be Jay. You saw last week's SmackDown, and I'm filming this before this week's SmackDown. You saw last week's SmackDown. He acknowledged Jay Uso. Now, I don't know about their old situation on being overseas or uh, across the border, so I'm not sure if he's going to be able to be there. It only makes sense. We will see how that play out. I know a lot of you guys saying they can't be in Canada, or maybe Jimmy can't be in Canada. Who knows? But I do believe this story revolves mostly around Jay. It's not even Roman. It's really Sami Zayn acknowledging Jay last week on SmackDown can kind of let you know Jay's going to turn his back on him. He's going to turn his back on him. And then it's going to be Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn trying to take the undisputed tag team championships from the Usos. So I think that's what's going to happen. But yeah, Roman Reigns will retain and will be the champion going in to 
WrestleMania this year. But overall, I love the card. It's not too many matches. We got one, two, three, four, five matches. Five matches, perfect length, two elimination chambers, um, some other matches that already have feuds already built into them. And of course, the main event, which everyone is looking forward to uh, between Roman and Sammy. This is, I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm glad Triple H is still keeping the format of long term booking storylines, taking precedent, not too many matches, filling out a card. You don't need to overbook it, keep it short and concise. I'm all for it, man. So I cannot wait till saturday it feels good to be able to say i am excited about an elimination chamber pay-per-view from all the matches all the way through i'm excited about everything and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens so let me know down below in the comment section do, well you know who do y'all think will win who y'all think will lose where do you think these storylines will go man put your thoughts and uh predictions uh your preview and predictions down below as well man but yeah i'm looking forward to checking this out once again we're going to be checking it out on the inner clutch page so make sure you guys if you're not already subscribed to the inner clutch youtube page that's where the live stream and reaction will be tomorrow man so i appreciate y'all kicking in with me road to 150k and before i get out of here i just gotta make this very very clear dub you've had the championship for a couple of weeks now, almost a month. You know, I know you've been enjoying it, but your time has come to an end. I know, I know. You're probably wondering, you know, why, why so soon? But hey, no one can take away you were the first ever in the clutch champion. But now it's my time to shine. It's time for me to be able to put that championship behind me on the wall with my other championship. And it's time for me to be a two belt champion, just like your boy. Roman Reigns, man. So, yeah. Hey, y'all also let me know. Do y'all think your boy will become the two-belt champion? Because I believe I will, man. I believe the, the the wrestling gods will put favor on me. And I will become the in the clutch uh, champion, man. So, But, once again, appreciate y'all kicking with me, man. And uh, I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Looking forward to being the two-belt champion of the world. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.